Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Hello there, welcome to another edition of Arc Fishing. I'm your host, John Leach. Today is Sunday, March. You know what is the night? I think it's the 21st. I don't know, at any rate. It's either the 20th or 21st. I want to say it's the 21st. I guess I should have checked that before I started this video, but any rate, it is gorgeous. It's supposed to be a high of 64 degrees today. No wind. Let me phrase that. Five mile per hour wind, no gusts. I think the max is five miles per hour. I just drove past the lake on the one side and the water was perfectly calm. I'm on the back side now. I'm gonna go back here wade fishing. I'm gonna start out going for panfish. I'm gonna go for crappies. Yellow perch, white perch, sunfish. Let's see if I can't pull a bunch of those out. I could do a catch and cook with panfish, especially crappy bass, because they're so good eating. If that don't pan out, I want to go after bass. But that's just still open. They're open now until, I believe it's April 12th. Then they close. But they have to be 15 inches or larger, and you can only have four combined species between large mouth and small mouth. But at any rate, let me get back here, get in the water, and start fishing. So I'll see you when I get in the water. And always remember, navigate life and go fishing. Uh, I've got the adapter for my hat cam, so I'm gonna have to use a chest cam today, which I think might be better anyways. We'll see what happens. I usually like wearing a hat cam when I'm wade fishing, but chest cam might work out pretty good. Let me put this one. I'm, I'm starting with a broken gulp, and the color's called Smelt. It's a three inch middle. I'm using a, I think it's a one eighth ounce jig head. So let me turn this camera around. I'm going to show you what I'm using. Click. Okay, so right here's what I'm using. It's a Berkeley Gulp 3 inch smelt minnow. And I'm using the 1 8 ounce black jig with white and black eyes. So I'm thinking that should catch crappies and pan fish. And I'm using 8 pound test mono. I'm using a Cabela's Tony Trail IM7. Um, seven foot spin rod. I'm using a Daiwa. What reel is this? I forget. Daiwa Laguna 2500 5BI spinning reel. So I bought this set up years ago when I worked at Cabela's in Hamburg, PA. I got a really good deal on it. In fact, I don't think they even make these rods anymore, which really stinks because they're really good rods and they're reasonably priced. Well, this water's nice and clear. I'm loving it. Now, I'm really surprised. The way it's looking, I'm the only angler out here. I don't see another fisherman anywhere. That surprised me because there was a bunch of cars parked out there, but I think there are people just going for walks or walking their dogs. Nope. First cast. Let's see how oh, I've got to check my drag. Smooth one. Let me get this in, check my drag. Yeah. Oh, I just had a hit already. Get the heck out. I bet it was a bluegill. But something definitely hit it. Oh, my drag's good. Wow, first cast and I had a hit. I was on the bet though, it was a sunfish or a perch. Perch are notorious for doing that this time of the year. I slowed down my retrieve. I think it was going too fast. Whew. All right, I, got, I can still feel that water. It's cold. I got long underwear on, a regular pair of socks, winter pair of socks, the ins thick insulated pair. I got insulated gym pants on. They're they're, they're gym pants. You work out in them, but they're insulated. And then my chest waders. And I can still feel this water is cold. But we'll see what happens. I think what I'm going to do is walk back to the truck. Go get my bait caster and come back. My buddy Justin just texted me. He's supposed to meet me here. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll wait for him. I'm going to unload my panfish gear. I'm going to go get my bass rod. I'm going to get my uh, Abracia big casting rod and reel and load some of my gear. Meet Justin and come back here. Because I don't think panfish are going to be hitting right now. Alright, much better. Jeez.
Hold on, Justin, hold on. Look at this, look at this. I'm getting a hit. I think I finally have one on. There we go, finally. Oh, finally. Boy, that was a real subtle bite, man. That was real subtle. Feels like a large mouth. Oh my goodness, man. I, I had to like really let them have it there for a while. I know they're finally, finally starting to feed. It's giving me a good fight. That's for sure. I don't want to pull too hard. I'm not sure how well hooked. At least decent. I'm not sure how well hooked he is. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, that's a fat one. Oh, it's bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, it is. I didn't expect it to be that big. <laughs> didn't feel that big when he hit. That might be a 20 incher. Wow, he's bigger than I thought, dude. Look at that. <laughs> I think I have my measuring tape with me. I didn't expect it to be that big because the way he hit, it was so subtle. Heck is the end of it. You mind taking a picture? Or, I mean, if you don't want to risk, drop your phone, I get it. This thing's all twisted. I'm guessing he's probably. This thing's all kebobbled. He's, I think he's 18, 18 or 19. Yeah, I think he's about 18, 19. If I put the tape here, he's going to measure 19. No, he's 18. He's a fat 18 incher. Try it that way too. Take a couple. All right, thanks. Appreciate it. Oh, really? Yeah. Look how fat. That must be a pregnant female look. Yeah. I'm gonna let her go. You can actually keep these right now, but the 15 inches are larger. Yeah. I'm letting her go. I bet that's a pregnant female. Look how fat her stomach is. That's a beautiful large mouth, man. There's nothing in her gullet. All right. Catch and release. <laughs> that's awesome. I, I didn't expect it to be that big because the way she hit. <laughs> it's like, it feels like a little 14 or 12 inch or something. Yeah, once you got closer, she started pulling good. You done? Yeah, I'll second that one. I don't blame you. Yeah. 